This is Retro Hunter K here coming back at you with another week of pickups. So, um, I don't know if you guys are excited for every time I present this video, but I am because this week here I found something at a pawn shop, which is the least at the last place that I would, you know, find this right here. And um, I happen to be at the right time, right place, and they just put it out on the, the floor. So, um, it's not complete in box, but at one day. Uh, I hope to find it complete in box for now. I will keep this one later on. I'll upgrade later, but I will save that towards the end. Um, I'm going to go right into it. I have a lot of stuff, a lot of video games to cover from garage sales to Craigslist and offer up. So um, here we go. First up, um, so some garage sale pickups. Uh, this right here was uh, one of the garage sale pickup. I went on a uh, Friday and she has uh, a few Wii games nothing special though uh, first off you have Nights Into Dreams and then <clears throat> I also look and they had this one right here My Horse and Me and uh, when I first looked at this I thought this was the rare one on the Wii but it's actually I believe the rare one is the Go Edition one and that has a yellow thing right here. It says Go Edition. And that one is a rare one to come by. And it goes for quite a bit. This one, uh, not so much. Uh, 15, 20 bucks, I believe. But the rare one goes in the 40, 50, sometime more, I believe. So, but still, pretty awesome to pick this up right here. Uh, next, uh, they had this right here, brand new. So I asked him if they have any kind of DS uh, games or anything like that. Um, and it happens to be like, she says, yes. I do have it, um, but I haven't uh, put it out yet. So I told her, hey, I'll be interested to look at them. So um, she came in, went inside, and pulled out uh, these right here. This uh, kind of like uh, metallic pink Nintendo Dog DS, which is one I don't have yet. In really awesome shape, except for that sticker, as you can see right there. But that will come right off. Uh, and then she pulled a stack of Nintendo DS games. Unfortunately, they're all empty. They're just cases. Uh, the only one of them that actually has a game, which is this one right here. Um, and I didn't know why. Why didn't I ask for those empty cases? I did not know why. That was stupid of me. I, I don't know what I, what I was thinking. There was Pokemon. There's, there was uh, uh, Mario's. I'm not sure why. But yeah, so uh, this right here. And then she also have this little packet right here uh, these right here are actually Game Boy Advance games and let's take a look here real quick nothing really uh, special um, you know uh, the one that pretty much stands out are you know the Mario Kart right here uh, Pitfall is pretty fun uh, the Star Wars Harry Potter Froggers uh, I just might as well just go name it all. Harry Potter, Scooby-Doo, and Ice Age. So a total of eight games and one DS games. And the little uh, DS, he was asking 25. Uh, I gave her that face and then she's like, well, I don't, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm just putting a number out there. So uh, came back with an offer of uh, 10 bucks for everything. So she ended up doing this for 10 bucks, which is pretty awesome. So, um... That was pretty much the only thing that I managed to find, so uh, I was pretty bummed out. So I uh, decided to stop at one more stop, and this was probably at like one o'clock or something like that. Uh, so later on the day, just to check in to test my luck, and I did ran into some GameCube stuff. Nothing biggie, but I got for a pretty good deal. Uh, total I spent here was uh, $5. So um, first off here we have just the GameCube, the silver GameCube only with a orange controller. So I came to this guy, um, you know, garage sale. Uh, he also has a PSP and I asked him how much you want for the PSP. He says 50 bucks, so I'll pass on that. And I saw he has this on the table and I asked him how much you want for this right here. He said uh, 25 bucks. And then I also saw this game that he left like uh, along on the DVDs. So I grabbed this also, and I came to him. I said, hey, how much for the whole thing? Uh, and he said, well, five bucks here since I don't have the course and everything for it. The games, he said, I, I check on eBay. It goes for quite a bit, like 
10, 15 bucks. So I told him, man, eh, I'm not going to do that. I'll leave this back. And then he's like, you know what? Just take it. Five bucks. So, and then, so I did. I just took this for five bucks, which is not bad because this controller is pretty rare. Uh, already 30 bucks with this controller right there. So for five bucks, I'll take that any day. All right. So since my uh, grass adventure didn't go, you know, really great i mean i got some good stuff but not as you know crazy as before so i decided to stop at uh, value village uh close to my work and i ran into some of these and i believe they just put it out too so first off we have uh we have robo tech right there for 2.99 we have worms for mayhem for 2.99 and then lastly uh 2.99 for mega man anniversary collection and they all are in pretty awesome condition so pretty awesome to run into this for $2.99 each so as the day went by uh for, for some reason uh i ran into a, a couple things that are actually pretty good actually one person that contacted me actually that they had video games and it's actually from one of the people that i bought in the past that i gave my number to and they and i told them if they find more they gave me a call um, I don't know how many that numbers that I gave out, but probably a lot. I, I don't even remember uh, this person, like uh, what I bought from them in the past, but they contact me. They said they found some more miscellaneous video games. So they got some Nintendo, GameCube, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and some Game Boy Advance. So um, nothing too crazy. Uh, a lot of common games. But for what it is, I mean, I end up buying it for a total of $30, so it's not bad. But to start off with, uh, I'm going to go into the GameCube. So they had it in these right here. So let me ju just go ahead and go through one by one. All right, so first off, we have uh, Hulk. We have Batman Begin. Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, and all these, you know, it was kept in the case, so um, there was, you know, fairly minimal scratches, so everything works well. Here's Spider-Man, we have the official game for X-Men, we have Wolverine. So it seems like this person uh, was really into Marvel because all we have here are all like, you know, X-Men, Spider-Man, and all this other game. So X-Men Legend, and that was it for the first case. Let's go ahead and open the second one and see if we, can, we have anything good. Um, we have 007 right there. We have uh, Ratatouille. We have Chicken Little, a Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. We have know. Harry Potter, and that is my son in the background. He's sitting with me right now, and uh, he's repeating what I'm saying. But um, here we have Harry Potter, and that was, I guess, that's what that was a two-disc game. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, no Mario or Zelda or anything like that or anything rare, but you know, a good staff full of um, GameCube games that can definitely uh, flip or uh, trade with. So, pretty awesome there. All right, next here we have some uh, four Nintendo games. We have uh, Jackal, Gauntlet, Adventure Island, and RC Pro M. Next, we have three uh, N64 games. First off, we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the new Tetris, and Mortal Kombat uh, Sub-Zero. So, this is pretty cool, actually. So, right there, three of them. And then, we have four uh, Super Nintendo games. First off, we have Tetris Attack. I'm not sure if I have this game yet, but uh, if not, that'll be a good addition to my uh, Super Nintendo set. We have Tecmo Super Bowl. And then we have one that I do not have, and that's a special edition Tecmo Super Bowl 3, which is pretty awesome. Definitely adding this to my collection. And then lastly, 
uh, I'd run into this game all the time, but never run into with the mouse and the uh, and the pad. So, and as you guys know, that's Mario Paint. And then we have the mouse and the pad. This is probably the first time I ran into uh, Mario Paint with the uh, uh, mouse and the pad. But hopefully one day, uh, I want one with a box and everything. I, I hate to have it loose like this. So most likely I'm getting rid of it and then try to get the complete in box one. So yeah. All right, so lastly, um, he has a stack full of Game Boy Advance game and then also a uh, Blue Cobalt uh, Nintendo 3D, uh, sorry, <laughs> Game Boy SP in fairly good condition. And it works and everything, so that is awesome. No charger. But here are some of the games. We have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven Trials to Glory. We have uh, But Ugly Martian. Funny name there. We have March of the Penguins. Narnia. Ice Age 2 The Meltdown. We have Zero Gravity Zone. Star Wars, the new uh, droid army. Uh, one that I do not know. I'll test it out and see what it is, but is uh, the label's missing. Pirates of the Caribbean. And then we have uh, Bleed Blade. So yeah, nothing too biggie. Like I said, 30 bucks for all that. That was all right. Um, you know, no heavy hitters or rare games or uh you know recuperated games like you know mario and zelda stuff but that's all right that was okay for 30 bucks Mom. all right so this here is from craigslist pickup so one of the things that i like to do or i remind myself to do is that uh save those overpriced it craigslist ad and offer up so what happened is i, I let it sit for you know two weeks or so and what happened is that i hit it up hit them up uh, once that point hits because if they're overpriced uh, What happens is that the seller uh, might be a little bit desperate They want to go ahead and sell it or they realize that what they search on eBay uh, is Incorrect or they might think that nobody wants these old retro things So what happened is that they nobody nobody really hit them up nobody wanted to buy their stuff so if I hit them later on uh, and I lowball them and they will take it. So that's what happens here and it works for me fairly well So I recommend to all of you who who want to get some stuff that you guys want that is overpriced do that and it might work So this right here was a lot uh, on Craigslist. He wanted 250 bucks. I managed to get it 80 bucks. Yes, 80 bucks. We have four complete and oh sorry five complete in box games and a whole bunch of loose Nintendo games with the system, the gun, and everything. And that was 80 bucks. This guy was asking 250 bucks. So as you guys see, this works really well. So I recommend it to you guys. Um, so I'm going to go right into it. Here are some of the loose games. All right, let's see here. So uh, we have Mario uh, Bros. Duck Hunt. Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, one I recently picked up, but uh, it's a pricey one. Super Bowl right here. Tecmo Super Bowl. We have Afterburner. Spy Hunter. Pictionary. We have World Championship. Uh, looks like NASCAR Racing. Double Dribble. Sky Shark. Xevious. We have, let me see here's Tubin, Miss Pac-Man, Ninja Gaiden 2, and then here uh, goes the complete in box games. Now the guy uh, said he has more, but is actually in Arizona or something like that. He just moved here and he's desperately looking for money. So that's the reason why he moved from 250 all the way to 90. And then he says that once he get back to Arizona and pick up the rest of his stuff, he will go ahead and uh, basically uh, give me a call and I can have those for free since I'm buying the lot right here. So 
First off, we have one here, um, mechanize, mechanize Attack. I hope I say that's, that right. But one I do not have, but complete in box now. Pretty awesome. We have Gauntlet, complete in box. We have uh, Roger Rabbit. We have Dragula. And then Solar Jetman. So, all right, so that right there are all the games. And then also it comes with the controller, cords, um, you know, a zapper and everything else that comes along with it. So as you can see, that technique works really well. Uh, it works for me a lot of time in the past too, so I recommend it to all of you. All right, so this right here actually came from GameStop. Uh, I pretty much got this uh, free with a trade, all the trade-in credits. Um, I brought in uh, two Nintendo Wii and also a couple games. Uh, no Mario, no Zelda or anything like that. But I brought two Nintendo Wiis and some miscellaneous games uh, that was, you know, pretty much pretty bad games. And just this only. Uh, oh, and actually two Wii uh, sport games, you know. Uh, so, yeah. So, I was like, super excited to get this because I, uh, I saw... Uh, I believe Media Glitch, one of the YouTube channels that I've been watching. And he did a review and unboxing of this. And I thought that was so awesome. Uh, I look at the gameplay uh, and the art. I just really love the art in this. And he opened it and it was pretty awesome. So I decided to go ahead and uh, pick this up. And it didn't cost me anything besides trading in. So here you go. This is uh, Odin Sphere from Atlas and I believe this is uh, either the remaster or the remake of the game but this is actually the complete in uh, sorry the collector edition pretty much or they would say storybook edition and it comes with a whole bunch of stuff right here the t-shirt with the artwork and they even have the steel case the the big book oh my god yes yeah some a lot of pretty awesome in there but if you guys want to see like the unboxing of it you should check out, you know, just YouTube. It is everywhere. Or I'll put uh, Media Glitch down there for you guys to go check him out. But uh, pretty awesome. Super excited to, to get this right here. Um, I hate to open it. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll just keep this right here and just go buy the game only and just play that. Because the gameplay looks pretty awesome. So yeah, so super excited about this this week. All right, so last year I have two items and the two items that I did not have in my collection and I'm super excited to add this to my collection and I got this right here. I want to say for a, a total of $94.17. That's how much it is. So uh, I'm just going to show you real quick. First off here, uh, I, I uh, went to a, a local retro game store and I picked this up right here, and that was Mega Man X3. And they wanted 300 bucks. Uh, that's because it's missing the manual. Um, so I, uh, yeah, so I got this. I'll tell you how I got it. Uh, all both of this item right here for 94 dollars, but this right here they wanted 300 bucks. It just have the box and inserts and the cart only, but the cart is in super awesome condition. And definitely, uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the one that I have currently. But as you can see, this one is really awesome condition. Look at that. So, yeah, I'm keeping this right here. And I can't believe they're asking for 300 bucks on this, uh, even without the manual. Because I, I, I saw that even without the manual, it goes for quite a bit. So, 300 was a pretty uh, fair price to start with. But, yeah, super excited. So, there you go. And then lastly... It's this right here. Yes, it's the Virtual Boy. So nothing bigger or special, but it's one that I, you know, hope to run into and in the wild. And I never happened to run into until now. And I got this actually from a, a pawn shop that I went to. And they just put all these out right here. They had a whole bunch of retro, uh, retro stuff that they put out. They said that... Uh, there's some guy that came in and brought all these in and finally now they're able to bring this out They're having even priced them all these stuff yet And uh, I was there waiting and asking them and see how much it costs, but yeah So I got this right here. The only 
problem is is missing that little uh the little uh this part right here for you for your eyes to, to put in so uh definitely look look um you know on ebay maybe they'll buy buy for that and hook it up or for now it's just a good display piece in my room hopefully in the future i will get one complete in box which is you know way better uh and then i'll go ahead and get rid of this one but for now i'm super happy uh, to get one of these right here. It comes with the controller and also come with the power cords and everything. And then when I uh, got into my car, I realized that there was a game in here. Uh, yeah, Wario Land. Bought a whole bunch of stuff from them, uh, retro stuff. I think there's this, uh, let's see here, there's a lot of PS1 Final Fantasy games, uh, some Wii games, uh, some Game Boy games, and they total that up to uh, $94 right there $94 and uh, 17 cents and then I knew that I got a good deal on it and I could definitely get some good trade-in uh, value for it uh, so I went to the, ro uh, the local uh, retro store right after and then I saw this right here and then I basically uh, took everything except for the virtual boy and trade in for credits and that's what I did. So I once I traded for credit, this right here was pretty much uh, uh, end up to be still I I still owe one hundred fifty dollar. So I end up paying one hundred fifty dollar. I sell my loose cart that I currently have right two hundred bucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can get that. And so that this is pretty much uh, free. And then I also get to keep my virtual boy. So yeah. So this is one strategy that I also recommend to you guys. Uh, if you pick some stuff at the pawn shop, you know, uh, one thing is that they're not very, uh, how you say it, expert in retro gaming. So what happened is that they give out crazy deals on retro gaming, it's like a buck a piece or two bucks or sometimes nothing at all. So what happened is that that's what I did. I just basically went to the pawn shop, get all the retro stuff, bring it to the the retro store and got a whole bunch of trade credits for it when I only spent 90 bucks and I get to keep this right here uh, and then also get Mega Man X3 um, which is like 300 bucks right there that they asking for and I got $150 in credit keep this sell the cart that I have end up having you know a little bit of money left over so pretty awesome strategy so uh, yeah so once again awesome week super excited um, so yeah and also I just want to give you a little update on my uh, channel um, I will be doing the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm sorry. I've just been super busy, but uh, I'm trying to get things together right now for that right now. Um, you know, what kind of prize did I give out? Stuff like that. If you guys have any idea what do you guys want, um, I have a, I pick up a lot, of, a lot of things and I have a lot of things lying around and I would love to give it to someone, uh, to, you know, to people who can enjoy them. So let me know. Comment below. All right. And then I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace out and happy hunting.